Hello everybody and welcome! Today it's going to be quite a silly video. First of all, if you remember, this is my Saturn V recreation in Kerbal Space Program 1.4 making history edition. And I also did a version of that that can go not only to the moon, but to Elu and of course return safely from there. So, what am I talking about regarding silly? Let's have a look. There is a Reddit challenge where you should uh, start a rocket while thrusting against that rocket and get it into orbit. Yeah, I decided to put that to a little bit of a test in regards to making it even harder. And yeah, now I've carpet bombed the KSC. Hmm, only one thing to do. Again! Yes, this was a lot more stable, at least initially. Look at that smoke! <laughs> Smokin'! Yeah, anyhow, this here is my attempt to push, yeah, a Saturn V into orbit while it pushes against it. And this turns in a beautiful debris rain. Hi there, command module! And. The escape system works sort of here as well. So what happens to the space center down there? Yo, whoa! <laughs> That's intense! Again! Yeah, a uh, third time's the charm, or maybe a fifth time, I don't know, I haven't recorded all of my attempts. Anyhow, as this beauty here rises once again to the skies, I wanted to say that the first stage of the Apilu 11, because it's the Elu mission version, this uh, thrusts for 2 minutes and 52 seconds, and I timed it sort of so that I can get this thing into orbit while the entire first stage is running, so I don't have to stage the upper rocket as well, I only have to stage the big booster on the bottom. Speaking of bottom, look down below how beautiful those rays are across those mountains. Scatter and environmental visual enhancements at work here. Okay, stage separation. I'm using the hammer solid rocket boosters as sabotrons. And now we've easily made orbit while a Saturn V tried to thrust against us. It's kind of the opposite of tug of war, you know, you don't pull at each other, you push against each other. Anyhow, now I decided, okay, since I have a lot of fuel left in that, uh, in that stage up here, why not go to the moon while thrusting against each other? So we have the S2 stage of my Apilu uh, rocket. And I have the second stage of my Mega Booster, which I haven't named yet, I think I just called it Counterweight Madness or something like that. But we are now in an orbit around the moon. And now we try to land this thing. Unfortunately, we're completely in the dark due to an eclipse happening just about now. But I decided, why not? Just, what the heck, just, just do it. Okay, since I don't have any stages left for the Mega Booster, I just decided, okay, just just use the, the Saturn V as is. So this should be fine. I, I thought I'd just land this here and then maybe do so. I, I really made decisions off, uh, just off the top of my head in here. I didn't have any plans besides getting this thing into orbit, which I did. Yeah, again. Well, that happens when you don't look at the ground, or can't look at the ground, because everything's dark. Again! That wasn't that good either. Alright, uh, we are quite inclined, and it's a really high rocket, so this is prone to tipping. So I decided, well, yeah, that's landed, because we actually were landed. We were not stable, but we were landed, so we landed on the moon. Check marks on that. And now we're flying back up again. And then I thought, well, why let's not try the SpaceX approach of things. Meaning getting this thing down to the ground without uh, 
any help beside the engines. So this is one of few uh, aero braking maneuvers, so I had a few passes to get my apps down and get down safely into the atmosphere and not burn up. And unfortunately I ran out of fuel in my S2 stage, so yeah, I had to stage to the S4B. And that prompted me to, yeah, use the parachutes after all, because that single engine is not powerful enough to uh, get us down to the ground safely. If you look closely in the background somewhere, you see a small dark thing landing below the clouds, or landing, crashing rather, that was the second stage. Descending now, a combined effort of parachutes and engine. Let's see how that turns out. Oh! Okay, that's a bouncy engine. Okay, the lander is safe, so we could reuse this if we put it on top of another Saturn V. But then I thought maybe I could use <laughs> the Wolfhound engine to launch this thing again or skid around, but I couldn't and I just destroyed the lunar module. So this is basically just a lawn blower, you know, not a lawn mower, but these things where you blow leaves around, the leaf blower, is that the correct term? I don't know. Look at that engine, it's still intact. What is that thing made of? Weird. Yeah, so this was not budging, but I decided to hammer it anyways. Thrust to weight ratio is still below one. And curiously, it tipped to the ground, but not into the air. And yeah, then this happened. Boom! Okay, coming back. Ooh, something exploded. And again, and there it goes. So, what else can we do? Do we have any propulsion? Well, only rotating around. <laughs> this is like the... You know the cheese rolling tradition that I think it's in Great Britain somewhere? Yeah, this kind of reminded me of that, but... Yeah, that stopped eventually as well, and that's it for this silly video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.